from tomorrow to go to Florida. Starting at the 1700 Children's It's on federal property so that there's no state welfare of oversight. Oh, no. Senator Merkley went there this week and said it was absolutely chilling. And that it was just, it tore him to pieces to see that. So this is a for-profit detention center, and they are staffing up right now to hold 2,400 children. Under Trump's administration's orders, the job description for the guards, I saw that in the paper the other day, and I cannot sleep since then. It says, the job description says, you must be able to apply approved restraint techniques and otherwise manage or coerce the full weight of an infant or an adolescent. Uh, I mean, if they should not be, you know, and I know you talk a lot about children and you're going to fight for other people's children as hard as you fought for your own children. So what I'd like for you to do is to go down to Homestead and witness what's going on there because it's on federal I will. property. I will go down. And that you demand yeah. that we shut down these children's prison camps I because will. they're immoral. There's a Senate bill. Would you be willing to co-sponsor that? Which one is it? It's 397. It's from Senator Berkeley introduced it just recently. Oh, I'll definitely look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will absolutely. You, will you demand the end of these child detention I will. facilities? I absolutely And will. child prison camps in this country? I will. I, I went to visit them in Texas. So you did? I went to two in McAllen and I was horrified. The one I saw was a abandoned Walmart that was now housing boys from age 10 to 17. It looks like a prison. They had to wear exactly the same clothes. All their beds were made just like in a prison camp. When I got to talk to the boys, which I was not allowed to do, I said, what's your best part of the day? And they said, outside time. I said, well, how much time do you get to go outside? Two hours a day. That sounds like a prison. They had to walk in a straight line. They weren't allowed to hug each other or even touch each other. Imagine if two little boys, those are the ages of my boys. It was horrific. And the trauma that they are causing for these children is incomprehensible. The second facility I went to was was, was run by GEO, a for-profit prison system, and it was a facility for mothers and children. And no fathers allowed, because even if they came as a family to the border, they'd separate them immediately, which is inhumane. It's what we did in the slave trade, literally. Like, this is so outrageous how we are treating human beings who are seeking our assistance, asylum seekers. They've done nothing. So in that facility, here's the worst thing. So I'm, I'm touring the facility, and I go into, there's a chapel, and I see two women on their knees, tears streaming down their eyes. These are not people who feel safe and secure. Second thing, I saw some ladies sweeping, and I was like, what's going on here? And, and, I, and, and I saw the phones, and they said, yeah, the phones are just they call home. I was like, well, what happens if they don't have money? They said they can do custodial work for $2 a day. That sounds just like a prison. I, I don't know how that's legal. I really, literally don't know how that's legal. So I do want to abolish these for-profit prison facilities. Um, the reason why I called to get rid of ICE and reimagine ICE and repurpose it is because this part. The enforcement removal operations part is inhumane. It yes. should be not under Homeland Security. It is not a national security issue. It is an immigration issue that should go under Department of Justice. We should have real immigration judges that are appointed for life, that are not just beholden to the Department of Justice and answers to the Attorney General. Yeah. Um, they should have a proper asylum system. When they come to this country, they should be allowed to um, go into the community and come back for their hearings. Um, and then the part of, 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 of ICE that I do support is the part that's anti-terrorism. Why not allow them to actually get a real budget, um, to have a new name, because 19 ICE agents said, our reputation is so destroyed because of all the family separations at the border, local law enforcement won't work with us. So why not, why not give them a, a, a new mission, a new mantle, and a new name, and actually do the anti-terrorism work, anti-drug trafficking, anti-human trafficking, anti-gun trafficking and fund that, but take, stop funding these for-profit prisons. Would you be willing to go to Homestead for just yes. one day and yes, see the absolutely. children and, and, and give us some oversight? Yeah, I'll find parents. out the next time Jeff's going. Okay, and, and it's 397, Bill I'll take a look at it, and okay. we'll let you know. Evan yeah. will follow up. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.